Hello, dear viewers. Thank you so much for joining me, Tarot Mom, for your daily reading. I always ask you to choose the stone that really draws you, the one that resonates with your intuition. And we'll begin. Source can speak to you through these cards, through your intuition. Your higher self can. Your guides and angels can. And that is why this is such a terrific thing to do on a regular basis. For those of you who chose this amethyst, we have the three, the seven of wands. Well, we have the star card. We have the hope card. We have the seven of swords. Very interesting. Okay, so you may all be feeling a little bit like you're challenged. Maybe like there's a hidden agenda, like there's someone you can't trust. You may feel like this can be others challenging you and you're standing your ground. You know what's your main priority. You know and you're going to stand with it. But it can be other people challenging you. It can be other goals kind of coming at you because these wands can be goals. But you're standing your ground and look at that fierce look. Like, mm -mm, you're not going to be budged. Because you have hope and you know in your intuition, in your gut, that it's correct to have hope. This is your major arcana today. Now the seven of swords. Well, that is, that can be somebody's taking more than their fair share. It can be something hidden that's going on in the background. That, um, you know, swords can be some things people are saying. Swords can be plans. Swords can be, um, yeah, things written. But it can be something that's going on in the background that you sense, but you don't know. It's not the power of that seven of swords guy is nil compared to the power of this hope card, the star card, and the power of the will of this person to stand their ground. So I just wouldn't worry too much about it, but that may be an acknowledgement that you have some challenging circumstances and you know, they may not feel like they're, they're not, they may not be permanent, you know, sevens, those are odd numbers. They're on their way into eights. They may not be permanent. They may be transitory. They maybe feel kind of minor arcana sometimes, but the thing is they're there and maybe source wants to say, I know that's challenging. Maybe Source wants to tell you today, I know, but you've got every reason to be hopeful here. Pour out your emotions about this. Pour out your emotions about this. And there's love and there's hope and there's, there's the sense that you're a rising star. So I love this reading. This is a terrific reading. Great. For those of you who chose... This green and orange stone, isn't that lovely? We have, ah, the magician, the two of cups, the five of coins. Boy, interesting readings today, guys. Okay, so the magician, that's power to manifest. I mean, that's, that's amazing. And so when I see that with this card, with the five of coins, I'm wondering if this reading is for people who sometimes maybe they feel shut out in the cold of, uh, regarding some kind of security. And so maybe there are money woes or maybe work woes or maybe um, budget, maybe health. Sometimes coins are health, pentacles are health. But there's something that may have you feeling a little a little uncertain, a little like there's a lack, like you're, you're not where you want to be because now these two are ready to go into the church where there's warmth and there's, every, there's abundance, there's what they need, but they're not there yet. They're moving there. So this magician though, that's your major arcana. This is a little dinky minor arcana. So I think source is saying, Hey, know your power. If you feel like there are heavenly things above that will be made known below, that's true. Sometimes we don't even know how. We don't even know how this is going to happen, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because if Source is saying, 
you'll be able to manifest something that is really good, then we can count on that. We really can. And it, and it often surprises us how it happens. And it may be a little shift here and a little shift there and a little shift there. And pretty soon we find ourselves in a completely different place and we're laughing about it. We're laughing. Oh my gosh, I see how you did that. I see how you did that source. I see how you did that. God, angels, guides, my higher self, whatever you want to call it, the force for good. Now this two of cups is about an agreement made or a partnership. There's some encouragement here, isn't there? It's sort of like, okay, two people are seeing eye to eye about something. This could be if you have a partnership, this is a nice card for it. It's, you know, you've got a, something, some good, uh, like-minded kinds of, of agreements, conversations. So that is an asset to you is what I'm seeing here. That is an asset to you. There may be a decision made with somebody that helps that really does help to kind of bring this in. It may be a decision made with somebody to see things the same way that you see them. Maybe you want to have faith. Maybe you want to have faith that source is telling you you're going to be able to manifest a, a terrific outcome and you need somebody else to believe that too. You need, you need, yes, we're all agreeing with you. We're all agreeing with you that a, a positive outcome will be manifested. So I like those. I like those cards. So for those of you who chose this lovely blue stone, we have minor arcanas. So probably not a huge decision making kind of day, but we have the eight of wands. We have the two of wands. We have the six of swords. So this is minor arcana stuff. Interesting energy today. I feel like powerful forward movement, maybe on a number of fronts. You are keeping things coordinated and moving smoothly forward, whether you know it or not. And there might be two, you're weighing your options. There might be two things, two main goals you're focusing on. You're focusing more on one today than the other, or you might be exploring something new or looking into something new. The world is in your hands, this reading is saying. Do not, this is the reading to, for somebody who should be confident because not only are, are they moving forward and purposeful with enough energy to do it all, but the six of swords says they've learned a lot along the way. They've learned a lot and you know, maybe it's got them kind of down, but the thing is those lessons bring us into the calmer waters. You know, we do things so much more differently if we're courageous enough and we're strong enough to learn from the lessons of our life. You know, we all come in, we've got lessons we want to learn here. Our higher self wants to learn some things. And so some of the, the things that we encounter, they can be transformed into lessons that make our, our future brighter. They really can. But strong people, you know, strong people are those who can face them and those who can say, okay, you know, I, I get this, I get this and, and see the logic of it all and, and, and come to some, um, conclusion, some good planning actually with the swords smarter. So if things have been a little tough and it's kind of got you down, please don't, don't be, don't be, please, please instead, like, look at these guys are looking to the calmer waters and the more hospitable shore. And this guy, he is looking across the sea. What will I explore? What will I conquer? And you're well able to do it. So this is a lovely group of cards, lovely group of cards. All right. Whoever would like a little more clarification, with the golden nugget card, we have got the 10 of swords. Okay. So you should be done with something. There's been something that's kind of got you. And I don't know if it's people saying something or if it's your own thoughts that have been uh, self-critical or negative, but you know, really it just can be about anything like swords flung. It feels like has life been flinging some swords at you lately? Has somebody been? But 
The thing is, the 10 is completion and the 10 is saying, okay, I am done with that. Yes, I acknowledge that maybe I'm feeling the effects, <laughs> you know, but, but I'm done with that. And, and now it's time to turn this into a turning. Now, the 10 of swords can also be the martyr card. So it can come up when we are trying to sacrifice our own well-being for others. When we feel like we must, when we have these kinds of thoughts, like, I must do this. I must do that. I must have this plan. I must have that plan. I must, I must ward off criticism, whether that's internally or from others. I must. Now, that just gets us tired out. That, that's not helpful. We cannot sacrifice our own well-being because you know what happens then? If you do that for people, when you start to show the effects of it, like this person laid low, they're looking at you wondering what's wrong with you, right? You know, <laughs> usually <laughs> people who would expect you to sacrifice your well-being to make their lives easier are the same people who will throw some swords at you, maybe some criticism, maybe some gossip, if you're laid low by that, those efforts. Why aren't you still doing this for me? What's wrong with you? You know, so I don't know if there's any of that situation happening for any of you, but this card clearly says you can be done with that. You can be done with that. It's time to rest, rejuvenate, be very self-nurturing. And it is okay to take care of yourself because it is your primary responsibility actually before taking care of anybody else. It is. It's your primary responsibility. No one can do it for you. So very interesting set of cards today. Oh, I wish you all the best. I hope you have a terrific day. Hit the like button if you're still listening, please. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.